Guys, I'm having one of those like really good hair days that just come once in a blue moon. My hair's like shiny and straight. I kind of want to treat it like if you see like a deer in the forest and it's just like, don't touch it, maybe it'll stay there. But just wait, by the time I wake up tomorrow, it'll be another greasy nightmare. Hello everyone, I am here today to do a beginner's makeup starter kit, specifically drugstore starter kit. I did one last year and I got tons of requests from you guys to do an updated one. And so I wanted to do that for you guys with some new products and new tips and techniques that I've learned, as well as expand on it a little bit and include some products for intermediates. So beyond just the staples, what products can you include in your kit to kind of expand beyond foundation, concealer, and things like that. So I've included that in this video as well. So if you wanna go to just that part of the video, I'll put a timestamp right here for you guys in case you're interested in that. And also, I want to let you guys know that on Thursday, I'm going to be uploading a tutorial showing you guys how to apply the products, how much of the product to apply, where to apply it to the face, and all that stuff going through in a lot of detail on the application of it because that was something you guys requested from the last video that I didn't end up doing. So I wanted to do that for you guys this week as well, and I was going to put it all into one video, but the video would be like legit like, like 50 minutes long. And I feel Feel like that's a little bit excessive. I think that's excessive. So if you're new and you enjoy this video, don't forget to click the subscribe button so you guys can check out that video which will be going up on Thursday. And today now we're going to get into the products for a beginner's makeup guide. So without further ado, let's get into this. So the first product I want to talk about is foundation, which, you know, like a foundation of a house. It's the foundation of your face. This is the product you're going to apply all over the face to kind of even out the skin tone and create a nice blank canvas to work off of. Now, quick tip on how to find the color that is right for you. You want to apply it to your neck. That is going to be the most natural shade, the most accurate shade for finding the color that's going to best suit your skin tone. And there are two different consistencies that I want to talk about today. The first one is that no makeup makeup kind of a feel. And the one I want to recommend today is by Essence. And this is their Pure Nude Makeup Natural Finish No Makeup Feel foundation. And the reason that I like this product is it has almost a serum-y, watery-like consistency. So when you put it into your hand to apply to your face, you're applying it and it almost feels like water. It doesn't feel like anything on the face, but you still get a little bit of coverage. I would say light to medium, depending on how many coats you apply. It comes in a pump format, which is very, very easy to apply. You can just do one pump or two pumps into your hands, depending on how much coverage you want to apply to the skin. And I get into all the techniques on how to apply it to the face without any brushes in Thursday video and then the other type of product that I enjoy is something that has a little bit more covered I highly recommend this product from covergirl this is the outlast stay fabulous 3-in-1 foundation and sunscreen this is an SPF of 20 in it it has a primer built into it it has lots and lots of coverage it just depends on how new you are to makeup and how sensitive you are to feeling like you have something on the face I don't feel like I have any product on my face right now with this formula however it is a little bit thicker than say the essence one so just wanted to give you guys some options from the start. If you're looking for a more in-depth video on choosing the right foundation, the right consistency, the right formula, where to find these products, what keywords to look for, I did a whole video dedicated to a beginner's guide to foundation. I will link it in the cards. So if you're interested in that, you guys can go into that video, which goes into a ton more detail, more products and all that fun stuff. Next up is concealer. And concealer is more for precise targeted areas where you want to provide a little bit of extra coverage. So say underneath the eyes, on any acne spots or spider veins or anything like that. There are two that I really want to talk about today. However, if I had to pick absolutely just like one product that I would say go out and buy, it would be this one. And I talked about this in the last video that I did and I love it that much that I want to include it again because I feel like it just, it needs to be mentioned. And it's the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circle Treatment Concealer. This stuff is amazing. If you have any sort of dark under eye circles or dark acne spots or anything like this, this is going to apply beautifully over those areas. The consistency is really nice. It's not too thick. It's not too thin and watery. It has a sponge applicator at the top so you can apply it really easily. It goes into all the crevasses on the face. This is a liquid concealer. So this is going to apply a lot more product. You're gonna to have to blend it out a little bit more, but in that sense, it's a little bit more forgiving so you can blend it over a larger area. Um, and it's um, a really 
really good for someone who has a drier complexion. Another option is a stick concealer. This is almost like a crayon in the way that it applies to the face. And this is the Hard Candy Glamouflage Light Blendable Concealer Duo. And the reason I chose this one is because it has a lighter end and a darker end. So in the winter versus summer, it's a great way to have like an all-in-one. Or if you want to have the lighter shade, you can apply it right underneath the eyes to lighten and brighten the whole area and apply the darker, which is just your natural, normal shade, um, just to the rest of your face. And all you do is you just dot it very precisely into the areas that you want to cover. This is going to come down entirely to personal preference and which one you would prefer in applying to your face. And next up is blush. Since I want to make this whole beginner section all no brushes, so you don't have to invest in any if you don't want to, I'm going to be using a cream blush. Now this is sort of like a, like a serum-y cream blush. It's not like super thick like clown makeup that you're gonna slap on your face. The one that I love is by Revlon. This is the, this is their cream blush and it's in the color Pinch. It just, it blends out really beautifully. It's not overly obvious when you apply it to the skin. It's very forgiving too. So when you apply, you don't have to like blend it out really, really fast. I would recommend going just for a really straight up neutral pink tone that's just gonna work with everything. Now that we have all the cream products on our face, now we wanna go on to powder. Powder is going to set all the product on our face and make sure that it doesn't separate with any oiliness throughout the day and things like that. And it's just gonna just lock it to the face. And the one that I really like is by Revlon. This is their Color Stay Powder and this is in the shade Light Medium. It has a little bit of extra coverage in it. So if that's something you're interested in, it's a great one. And also it has a built-in little Sponge, so it makes the whole application process a lot easier because you don't need to go in and get a brush. But regardless, I really, really love the formula. It's very smooth, it's very easy to apply, it doesn't settle really easily into any lines in the face, it's gonna cover all the pores really nicely and just create this nice, beautiful canvas. It's also a pressed powder, which I find is a lot easier for a beginner because it's just easy and you're not gonna get like powder spillage like all over the place. If you're looking for something that doesn't add any extra coverage, look for something that says translucent powder on it. That is going to be completely clear. It's not gonna add anything except for setting the makeup on your face. And lastly for the eyes, we're gonna talk mascara. This is the one easy way to just create that big, bright, finished look to your entire face. And the one that I really like is by Essence. This is their Lash Princess. Now it says it is a false lash effect mascara. I just find that it's very forgiving. It's a very easy product to apply to the to the eyes. It's very buildable as well. So you can do one coat like I have on right now, or you can do two or even three if you want really like bold, false lashy kind of effect. Um, and it's also cheap. <laughs> the Essence products in general tend to be a little bit more on the inexpensive side, which is nice when you're starting out with a product, especially like mascara, which you should replace every six months. And going along with the mascara, the one tool that I would recommend getting is an eyelash curler. This can be a game changer and just entirely change the whole look and feel of your lashes. Um, because it's going to open up the eyes, it's gonna open up the lashes, it's gonna give the illusion of longer lashes because you're bending them up, it's gonna look just entirely different. So I highly recommend them. I got one from Revlon when I was much younger. This one's by Shiseido, which I love. And this is really good if you have very, very baby fine short lashes. This one gets into all the nitty gritty areas, but um, the Revlon one is really good as well. It, just pick one from the drugstore. I highly, highly recommend getting one. And now that the beginner products are done, now we're gonna get into some more intermediate products. And we're gonna start with the brows. There are two different ways you can go. Number one, you're trying to enhance or change the shape of your brow. Number two, you're just trying to add volume to the brow. So if you're trying to add volume, that's a great first step. Um, I recommend the Essence um, Make Me Brow product. This is a brow gel. It has almost like a little mascara wand to it, and you're just gonna apply it like this, and it's gonna create little brush strokes in the brows to create the illusion of much fuller brows. As a general rule of thumb, you wanna look for tones that are a little bit more on the ashy end of things, not too orangey toned. And you also, if you have lighter hair, you wanna go one shade darker with your brows, and if you have darker hair, you wanna do one shade lighter with your brows. Again, this is just a general rule. It's gonna be entirely up to your own personal preference, but that's a great place to start. The other option, if you're looking to fill in very specific sparse areas of your brows or sort of define the shape of your brows, you can go in with a very fine tipped pencil. This one is by L'Oreal. It is their brow stylist definer. This is in the shade Blonde. It has a spoolie brush on one end to brush the brows in place and then a very fine tip pencil on the other end. But if you're new to applying 
a product to your brows, I recommend just going with a brow gel to start out with, unless you have specific areas you want to fill in. For example, for me, I like to fill in sort of the arch of my brow a little bit more. I did show you a tutorial for Thursday's video on how I use these products to kind of apply them to my brows and get this sort of shape. That is a good basic starting point for the brows. Next up is bronzer, and I love bronzer because it's just gonna add a nice warmth to the skin, and there's a couple of like watch outs I would do when you're looking for the right bronzer shade. First of all, if you're looking for something that's a little bit more natural, you wanna look for something that doesn't have a lot of glitter or glisten to it. You want something that's more matte. And you also wanna look for something that isn't super, super orange toned because it's gonna make you look a little bit like an Oompa Loompa. There are two different shades I wanna share with you guys. One is a good matte bronzer. This is by Rimmel. It's their natural bronzer, waterproof bronzing powder. This one's in sunlight, but they have tons of different shades to choose from. It's just a great overall bronzer. Another option for those of you that are more on the pale side, I highly recommend the NYX Sunkissed Radiant Finishing Powder. I know technically it's a finishing powder, but for those of you that have pale skin, you understand that when you apply like bronzer to your skin, oftentimes it just applies like this streaky mess and you're like, oh, that looks terrible. So this is much more natural. As you can see, I really like it. Can you see how much I've hit pan on this? I love this stuff. Next up is eyeshadow, and eyeshadow is a great way to expand your makeup horizons, and you can play with so many different looks with eyeshadow. It completely can transform your look, and the one product that I highly, highly recommend is by CoverGirl, and this is their True Naked Nudes Palette. They have a bronze palette as well as a rose palette. Love this product for a number of reasons. First of all, you can see it has a good variety of shimmer shades as well as matte shades, ranging from really dark to really light. So you can really transform your look and have a bunch of different um, looks to play off of. You can go very, very natural, which I get into in the tutorial. I, I keep referencing it, but like I wanna let you guys know, I do use these products, but you can also go really smoky and dramatic if you want as well. The formulas are really great. They're really nicely pigmented, nice and buttery. You can apply these wet as well if you wanted to really intensify the colors or just dry with like a brush. And you can also apply this product as an eyeliner. So taking this sort of like matte dark brown shade right here, dipping an angled brush into water and then applying it to the lash line. It is a very, very forgiving way of kind of going into the whole world of eyeliners. It's not as um, fidgety as say some of the more felt tip liners and things like that. And I really love that as a way to kind of experiment with eyeliner. And then lastly is the lips. And there's a hundred million different ways you can go with lips from matte to glossy to dark to light and everywhere in between. But I wanted to share with you the one that I think is a good starting point, which is a tinted lip balm. Um, and there's a lot of different ones that I love. I love ones by, um, there's Maybelline's Baby Lips are really popular. Those are great ones. Um, one that I just recently got that I really like is by e.l.f. This is their um, Glow Lip and it's in perfect pink. It's just a really pretty shade. It's what I have on my lips right now. It's hydrating. It's very nice. It's a nice pretty pink shade if you want that pop of color without going too dramatic. And these types of products are really great too because they're also hydrating. So you're adding a nice balm effect to it and it's not too crazy. So you could apply it without looking in a mirror and not have to worry about having like lipstick all over your face. And that's everything for this video. Give it a thumbs up if you found it helpful and don't forget to subscribe because I will be doing the full tutorial on Thursday using all these products and showing you the techniques on how do I apply them to the face. Leave me a comment below and let me know what your favorite go-to product is from the drug story that you absolutely love. I hope you guys are having an amazing, amazing week so far, and I will see you guys all on Thursday. Love you, girls. Mwah.